Hello, friends, and welcome back to VHS. I'm your host, Jesse. Today, I have a spoiler-free Dune Part 2 review for you. It's true. Before we jump in, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and want to see more. It means everything to a new channel like ours, and we really appreciate all your support. All right, let's get the big reveal out of the way up top. Yes, the movie is fantastic. Yes, it is worth paying to see Dune Part 2 on the largest screen you can find. Yes, Dune Part 2 will be nominated for Best Picture of 2024, I guarantee it. The only question is what other films will come out before year's end to compete with it. Let's talk quickly about the cast. They're all stellar, but I want to point out a couple notables. Timothy Chalamet exhibits extreme levels of control in his performance in Dune Part 2, which is about the highest compliment I can give as a book reader. So much of the world of these characters in Dune is about control. Control over the spice, control over travel, control over information, and even control over their own bodies. There were several times in the theater where my experience blended between watching a movie and an actor acting in a movie and just feeling like I was reading the book or having the book read to me. That's how connected Timothy Chalamet feels to Paul Atreides in this movie. Austin Butler is the standout addition here as Fade Rautha Harkonnen, a possible rival to Paul Atreides. Butler has a really good take on the voice, but more than that, the dude completely disappears into the role. You know, like months from now, I'm gonna see the next Austin Butler movie and I'm gonna say, wow, who's that great new guy? Because that's how much he disappeared as Fade Rautha in Dune Part 2. It's awesome. All right, Zendaya, let's talk about Zendaya. If you already love Zendaya and everything she does, then maybe this part of the review isn't necessarily for you, but I hope you'll at least appreciate where I'm coming from. Zendaya works for me personally in all of her modern roles because she comes off to me as a very real modern American person who lives today. Which is to say, I don't always buy her in a historical or a fantastical setting, if that makes sense. She has a wonderfully grounded girl next door quality to her, which to me ends up grading against the constructs of history or fantasy, which sort of require their actors to act and sound not how they do today. And that's how I felt about her performance in Dune Part 1. But let me tell you, she changed my mind in Part 2. There were still some gaps for me, but because she gets so much more screen time in Part 2, and because most of that screen time she's blended in with the larger group of Fremen, I found that I could totally buy her as one flavor amongst that whole group. And of course, with more screen time comes more familiarity, and all of that works for her. She has a much bigger lift in this movie as Chani, and she totally carries it. Now I'd like to take a minute to address moviegoers who have not read the novel Dune. Hi, I'm Jesse. Boy, are you guys going to have a great time. Director Denis Villeneuve is at the top of his game right now, and his game is blending thoughtful, artful science fiction concepts with the slam-bang satisfaction of big-budget Hollywood movie making. You guys are pretty lucky to be going to the movies in the era of Denny Villeneuve and Christopher Nolan, people like this who have found a way to cut through the Star Wars and superhero fog to bring us really satisfying and unique experiences in the way I haven't seen in a the theater since maybe the mid-90s. So have fun, get ready for some great tension, some greater visuals, and just spectacular performances. Everything you guys are looking for, you're gonna find in Dune Part 2. And now I'd like to take a moment to address the Dune book readers, a group to which I belong. Sup, y'all? Between you and me, and without spoiling anything for our non-book reading friends, they really did it, man. Getty Prime, Fade Routh's introduction, the arena, they do it. It's like reading the book. <laughs> it's really fantastic. Also, I gotta say, you're gonna see some stuff that to my memory, we only really read about or maybe have characters sort of describe that they know about, but we get to see, which is gonna be really exciting. One particular example in the realm of the water of life, I think is gonna be a real thrill for book readers to actually get to visualize. Don't get me wrong, there are still some fairly large 
omissions and changes from the novel. But honestly, guys, with a three hour runtime, I think you're going to understand why they made the moves they made. And I hope that ultimately you'll still be as satisfied as I was by the end. I'll leave it there to make sure I don't spoil anything, but allow me to make one more argument for you guys before I go. Please go see this movie, Dune 2, in theaters. This is the kind of movie we need to support to show the suits in LA that these are viable money-making products and that we will show up for them. If you love movies and you want to see a diverse selection of movies at your multiplex, speak with your dollar and let Hollywood know they're on the right path here, giving control and money to artists like Villeneuve, Nolan, these types. We have to support it to let them know that's literally the only way. <laughs> As of this recording, Dune has pulled in nearly $180 million worldwide in its opening weekend. So good job, everybody. But <laughs> don't stop, because if we the people can make Dune Part 2 one of the all-time earners, then Hollywood will have no choice but to learn the wrong lesson and make 18 space desert movies that no one wants to see. <laughs> but then again, maybe they won't this time. <laughs> Either way, Keep going to the theaters, keep loving movies, and keep coming back here to celebrate them with us. We live here, only on VHS. Take them home, Craig. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, and please like and subscribe. Check out more of our videos. Leave a comment. Or don't. You do you.